Welcome to another five minute meditation. We are in this week's theme of embracing all of life, right? Not turning anything away, either the joyful or the painful, right? Learning that we have the capacity to hold it. So come to a comfortable seat. Let your eyes softly close or gaze gently at the floor. Take a big breath in and an open mouth. <sighs> Simply feel with that breath that you have settled into right here, right now. Notice your breath flowing in and flowing out and notice where your body is sitting. We might call today's meditation noticing the weather. In the Buddhist tradition, there's a teaching that you are the clear blue sky and everything else is the weather. Or as other folks might say, it changes inevitable, right? Things are always shifting. Things are always changing. Weather systems are always blowing through. One skill, one tool for working with what has, is arising in any given moment is the tool of witnessing your own weather. So as you're breathing here, tune your attention toward the weather of your physical body. Notice what there is to notice. There may be some strong sensations that are asking for your attention and tenderness, and you oh, can turn toward those. Perhaps you also notice some spaciousness in your body or some ease or lightness. Just simply see what's here, what's here. You could check in with your face. Check in at your jaw. What's present at the throat, the neck, the shoulders? Is there anything to be noticed in the chest or the heart? What's the weather in the belly, the abdomen? What's the weather in your hips? Maybe your legs or knees, lower limbs, and whole body. And then go to a place in your body that feels like it's got a stronger sort of sensation for you. And check in with that sensation and ask, ah, is there a thought or emotion that goes with this sensation in my body? What is that weather? What is that weather? the emotional or mental weather that connects with the physical weather. And you just want to see it. You simply want to know it. Right? As John kabat says, naming our feelings holds within it the seeds of their healing. And now notice if there's another place in your body. Right? Some stronger sensation can also be quite delightful, right? So this isn't heavy necessarily. It's like, oh, what's well, asking to be noticed? Is there a mental or emotional weather pattern that connects with the physical thing you're feeling?
just allowing your attention to rest there. Does the weather change or does the weather stay the same? And then last time, one more space. Is there one more space in your body? Maybe it's a new space, maybe it's a different space. That's got a strong enough sensation you can be there. And then to ask, not to assume, but to ask, oh, what, what is this place in my body? What is the weather in my body showing me about my emotional and mental weather? And then let that go. Again, notice your whole body sitting here. If it would feel nourishing to stack your hands one on top of the other at your chest, symbolizing your heart, do that. Or maybe hands on your belly. Or maybe giving yourself a hug. Notice your body sitting right here. Notice if your whole body, your mind, your emotions, if the weather feels slightly different or if it feels the same. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what the answer to that is. And as you're ready, open your eyes. And I'll share today a piece from Pema, uh, Children. Um, from her book, The Wisdom of No Escape. She says, The journey of awakening, the classical journey of the mythical hero or heroine, is one of continually coming up against big challenges and then learning how to soften and open. In other words, the paralyzed quality seems to be a hardening and a refusing, a protecting of the heart. That is fear. And the more that we can let go, the attitude is simply feeling the whole thing in your heart, letting it touch your heart. You soften. You feel compassion for the predicament, for this whole human condition. You soften so that you can actually sit there with those troubling feelings and let them soften you more. This whole journey is starting to say yes to life. First realizing that you've come to your edge, that everything in you is saying no, and then at some point softening. Yet another opportunity to develop loving kindness for yourself, which results in playfulness learning to play like a raven in the wind. We are on this journey, this mythical journey, hero's journey together right now. Thank you for being brave. Thank you for diving in. Thank you for playing with us, even as we dance our way through this difficulty. So much love to you. Have a wonderful day.